हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू लेसन नंबर टू इन दिस वी विल कंटिन्यू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अ न्यू टॉपिक टिल प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट जॉब क्रिएशन एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन इन द इकोनॉमी वॉट आर द चैलेंजेस वॉट आर द वेरियस गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स वॉट आर द ड्रॉबैक्स ऑफ दिस स्कीम्स वॉट आर द क्रिटिसिजम्स वॉट फर्दर नीड्स टू बी डन let us talk about unemployment we have to understand unemployment in detail what exactly it means how it is measured what are the different types of unemployment we are going to see in this video and the next video so let us start with the definition of unemployment unemployment is when individuals who are able and willing to work at prevailing wages do not find employment so basically an individual who is able who has the quality and ability to work and he is also willing to work at the prevailing wages at the salary and wages that are available in the market he is ready to work at those wages but he is not finding the job or the employment so such a person is known as unemployed person so these two things are very important able and willing to work that is very very important there may be a person who may be in working age for example say a 30 year old man who is able uh, who can work in say uh, uh, in a factory but he is not currently finding a job he is not currently looking for a job he is not willing to work maybe for some personal reason maybe for uh, the reason that he is pursuing higher studies or some other uh, cause so such a person will not be counted as unemployed person because he is not willing to work so he is not basically participating in the labor market okay he is not participating in the labor force so he is not counted as either employed or unemployed we'll see that later unemployment rate is basically the percentage of labor force that is unemployed percentage of labor force that is unemployed and not the population um now what is labor force labor force is basically employed plus unemployed people who are working including employees and the self employed people who are earning some money on a regular basis are known as employed people and unemployed are those who are not currently employed but are looking for work so these two together are labor force let me simplify this to you the concept the difference between population then working age population labor force employed and unemployed in a very simple way so for example this is the entire population okay this rectangle is the entire population out of this entire population say this part is the working age population okay this this part is the working age population working age population meaning people in working age so this remaining part will include children and senior citizens who are not in working age pensioners or old age people are included here in this part and this is the working age population so working age meaning usually it is counted from 15 to 59 years so this is usually the working age now out of this working age also there may be people who are pursuing either studies who are not willing to work they are preparing for some government examination or any other examination so they are not participating in the labor market they don't want a job right now so let us remove them from this so if we remove this part say this is the proportion of people this blue color who are not willing to work currently who are not finding not willing to work currently so they are excluded and the remaining portion that is left that is known as labor force labor force the number of people out of the total working age population this is the total working age population okay this is the total population the bigger rectangle out of this the blue rectangle is the working age population out of this working age population also this this part this part is the labor force because they are willing to work 
now out of this labor force also some people will find the job some people will not find the job they are searching but they are not able to find so say this portion again this this yellow part so this small portion of the people are willing to work but they are not currently employed so these people are known as unemployed people okay these are unemployed people and the remaining ones this this remaining part this part this remaining part is the employed people okay so i hope this difference is clear to you now please keep this in mind this is very very important concept once you understand this then all the definitions will be very clear to you okay so let let me repeat it once again this outside bigger rectangle is the total population of the country out of total population then this red part is the working age population in 15 to 59 the left over is the children and senior citizen maybe below 14 years and above 60 years out of that there may be a portion of people who are not willing to work because of because they want to pursue higher studies they want to write government exam they are not willing to work currently then leaving those from the working age population the left the the left over that is the remaining people these are the working age people who are part of labor force so this is the labor force out of this labor force this yellow portion are unemployed people so they are currently ready to work but are not finding the job and the remaining are employed one this one so please keep this in mind if once you understand this then it will be very very easy for you to follow the rest of the concepts so the labor force does not include people who are economically inactive such as children students and pensioners so children pensioners and students who are here so the labor force this does not include this part of the population that is what is mentioned now let us study uh, let us look at the different types of unemployment unemployment may be due to various reasons the first reason is structural unemployment this word i have used in the previous videos also what is the meaning of structural unemployment employment unemployment which is caused by changes in the economy such as technological advancement or shift in industries for example if one industry previously which was labor intensive now some new technology has come and it has installed more capital more machinery and it has converted into capital intensive industry so say previously there was a textile manufacturing company example i am giving to you textile manufacturing and there were lot of people who were manufacturing this textile with their own hand using hand loom but now they have turned into a modern industry and they are now using the power loom the machineries so people who were previously working here now got unemployed because they cannot run these machines these are high tech machines and they are unable to run these machines and in fact they are not required here so many laborers are not required so the unemployment which is caused because of such shift in the structure of the economy maybe due to technological advancement or changes in industry so this is an example of technological advancement change in industry shift in industry is meaning previously say in india there was a concentration of say textile industries so many people were employed in textile industry but now there are no textile industries say there are automobile industries so textile industries have closed down and automobile industries have come up in the economy and automobile industries tend to be techno logically advanced more capital intensive so not many people can be employed in automobile industries as textile industry so this is a shift in the uh, shift in the industries in the economy so because of technological advancement or shift in industries whatever unemployment happens that is known as structural unemployment example job losses in traditional manufacturing due to automation next next one is your frictional unemployment frictional unemployment is basically the short term unemployment during job transition so for example one person is uh, working in an xyz company now he wants to switch to another abc company so in between during this search he quits this job say for one month he needs time to apply to this company and get a job so during this one month period he will be 
unemployed and such an unemployment is known as frictional unemployment because he is changing his jobs so during job transitions then fresh graduates also out of uh, colleges who are looking for jobs maybe it will take them three months four months six months one year to find a job and uh, that kind of unemployment is also known as frictional unemployment fresh graduates looking for their first job next is cyclical unemployment cyclical unemployment is linked to economic downturns or recessions so as you know that economy will go up and down so uh, uh, all it's not that always your economy will be growing upward there will be recession times also so economy tends to grow like this okay so in the long run it will grow it will it will be in upward trend but if you look at this short short run this short period you will see that economy here is growing and then it is going down then again growing and again going down so these are the economic cycles so because of the cycles in the economy whatever unemployment happens during this recession period this period this is the recession period this is the recession period so whatever unemployment happens during this economic cycles during the recession is known as cyclical unemployment example job losses during the global financial crisis of 2008 next one is seasonal unemployment seasonal unemployment happens usually in agriculture okay so industries or uh, economic activity which are season based for example in agriculture the employment is usually during the sowing season or harvest season so during this seasons uh, employment will be more and rest of the time there will be no employment for the workers or the laborers so whenever they are unemployed during the lean seasons they are known as seasonally unemployed it occurs when industries slow or shut down for a season Unemplo unemployment in agriculture post harvest season this is one example second example could be we can say that during the festive season uh, some of the industries they grow they flourish more for example rakhi making industries just one example i'm giving so they will naturally have more business during the rakhi festival and rest of the time they will not have the business so at that time uh, whoever is uh, engaged in rakhi making uh, activities they will be unemployed for the rest of the period next is disguised unemployment disguised meaning hidden okay it means hidden it is not visible so disguised unemployment common in agriculture when more workers are employed than needed this again i had mentioned in one of the previous videos so i had told you that in one of the farms say only two laborers are actually required to work in this say one acre of farm however there are four people working here so the productivity of each labor is is very less where only two people can complete the job four people are working so in fact two people are kind of disguised unemployed so they are not needed there it appears that they are employed but actually they are unemployed they are not getting the proper meaningful employment so it happens usually in agriculture example a family farm that employs more workers than necessary then the last kind of unemployment that we are going to see is technological unemployment job losses due to adoption of technology and automation replacement of manual jobs in manufacturing by robots so it is a kind of structural unemployment only okay it is a kind of structural unemployment only but structural unemployment can be due to shift in the industrial pattern also industries also in the economy shift in the nature of the economy also for example in india as we had seen that it was previously agri dominated now it is service dominated so this is a shift in the structure of economy from agriculture to services so because of this shift also whatever unemployment must have occurred that is structural unemployment now technological unemployment is also a kind of structural unemployment but we classify it here separately because uh, technological upgradation and uh, recently uh, industry 4.0 that is industrial revolution fourth uh, whereby robots automation artificial intelligence this kind of technologies are leading to lot of job losses so it is classified as one of the major kind of unemployment so technological unemployment is basically job losses due to adoption of technology and automation i hope you have understood different types of unemployments please remember this because it will be helpful to you while writing answers and also 
understanding what is happening currently when you read the current affairs we'll continue in the next video thank you